All right, we are back with the Arsenal career mode. So we enter the January transfer window in this episode. We got some games to get through in December, and then we will most likely make a signing maybe in this episode. Because, oh yeah, we got a lot of money to spend, and we have an idea of uh, a signing that can improve this team. And also, we're going to try and keep our invincible record in the Premier League. I mean, 14 games, no losses, that's that's pretty decent. That is going to be tough to try and uh, keep up, though. So once again, you guys have hit 1,000 likes on each episode. And once again, I appreciate that so much. Of course, drop a like if you guys want to keep seeing the Arsenal career mode. And we are slowly, slowly creeping up on 7. 70,000 subs. So, of course, also hit that sub button down below. All right, first comment. Try to break the Premier League goal scoring record with Jay Seuss. A good story arc where Man City neglected him as a striker. Now, a record breaker. Yeah, I mean, he's got 13 and 14 in the Prem. He's on pace to break the record. So, we'll see. I mean, there's a lot of season left. So, we'll see. Although, the man has a chance. He has a chance. And next one, idea for Gabriel's possible replacement. I think Mohamed Salazu could be perfect as a physical and high potential center back. Yeah, so like I've said, the plan is if this season things go wrong, Gabriel is probably sold and we either make Frederick Rowe the starter or sign someone to replace Gabriel. And yeah, I think Salazu would be a good option. I wonder what his overall rating is. It's like, if it's at least 84, 85, he could be an option. And last one, so frustrating to see Smith throw not getting game time. Yeah, I mean, definitely in played games, I tend to bring on Matawake first, Martinelli first over him. As you can see, he's played 14 games. That's second most off the bench, so that's not bad. Although he hasn't scored or assisted in any game. So that is a bit worrying. So one thing I have noticed, though, is Gundogan is going down. He's starting to decrease. So because of that, I'm thinking maybe we should play uh, Smith throw over Gundogan. Now, Smith is obviously not a box-to-box -box mid. I'm almost wish he was because I think he'd be, he'd be decent there but that he's got no defensive stats at all so I think I'll try to play Smith throw more than Gundogan where we could do the Odegaard Smith throw midfield yeah him not scoring or assisting it's a little it's a, it's a bit worrying not gonna lie oh yeah and I also completely forgot to send out our youth scouts this season so we're gonna do that now um first scout let's do the Ivory Coast um the other one let's do let's do South Korea and uh let's go for playmaker in South Korea and then we'll just do it to Spain for the last one I don't think we've done Spain yet so Spain Korea and Ivory Coast for this little scouting run so we sit in first we face Chelsea next we face Chelsea United next in like a couple weeks and then we play them again away from home so I think we're gonna sim the home games versus them and play the away games so, I mean yeah the invincible record could be broken right now that would be that'd be pretty sad if it does happen and it actually does. 3-2, we lose against Chelsea. Oh, I said it at the beginning of the episode and it jinxed it. The invincible record is gone. But honestly, I did not think we were going to get that this season. That That is insanely tough to get. Okay, so final Champions League game. I think Juventus are going to beat Club Rouge. They'll probably finish first and we finish second. So I don't feel like this game matters too much. Because honestly, Juventus slapped us twice. They deserve to go through first. So second team hopefully we'll still get the job done it's gonna be it's gonna be a 2-1 loss okay boys are we really gonna start with two losses um well as you can see it didn't matter if we won that game anyways they were finishing first so we finished second on our group that is not good because that means we are gonna get probably most likely a tough team the only team here that looks like we could get that's pretty easy ish is leipzig or villarreal come on brentford they're 19th come on bounce back win please 4-0 that is a bounce back win jesus 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 and telemans okay we got west ham next uh they're ninth this actually might be a tough game so for this game we're gonna try competitive mode off but keep the pass error for the cpu at one because we've played with competitive mode on for like two episodes now and i have kind of liked it but i want to see how it feels with it with it off and i think after this game we can probably decide whether we should keep it on or off depending on how this game goes um only change for this game is frederick Rowe comes in for saliba i don't know if it's like placebo because i remember when we turned competitive mode off a few months ago i really i thought the game was harder with it off and now I feel like it's harder with it on. Like it's it's so weird how it just feels opposite sometimes. But we'll try it off in this game, see how it goes, see if we notice a, a big difference. They won't be doing as many skill moves, which is good. But if we find this too easy, then we definitely have to go back to uh, competitive mode on because I, I want it to be challenging. Okay, talk about okay, okay, okay. Vlasic scores. There's no difference. I still can't defend. Um, Tomiyasu lets Vlasic kind of like run on the inside of him and just shoots and scores. Okay, that's that's not a good start. I guess competitive mode on or off, it still doesn't matter. Your boy can't defend at all. Not gonna lie, my players feel like slow right now. Like Tomiyasu is he's he's actually pretty quick now. He actually feels slow right now. I don't know why. But okay, let's get back. Let's get back in this. Saka, I want to see the pace a little bit. We're gonna go back to Jesus. Get that to Odegaard. Odegaard shot and honestly not a bad shot okay come on we can't let this game go by without us uh getting the equalizer tailmans what kind of ball was that okay this vlasic dude is getting by tomiyasu every single every single chance but that is a good block by thomas Partey. okay west ham come to play this game i honestly wasn't expecting this this much of a fight odegaard gets that to nkunku odegaard is playing like the left winger right now I actually don't mind it. And that's going to be an interesting cross to Saka, an attempt. Okay, good ball to Jesus. We need to get back in this game. We need to relax. They've had a good start, but we need to chill out. Okay, and Kunku, now that gets to Saka. Saka in front of goal. Man, I should have shot first time. I thought we had the room to get a touch and shoot, but that defender got right in that spot. It was actually very smart defending. He knew uh, Saka was going to try to get that to his left foot. It was actually very smart defending. And that is a screamer, and we're down 2-0. Okay, I, I don't think... 
everyone on or off of these sliders actually matters anymore. Because we're getting smashed by ninth place West Ham. And yeah, that is just a good shot. Okay, okay. We let, let's let's tighten up a bit and let's get back in this. Kunku gets that to Jay Seuss. Jay Seuss shot, and at least at least it's a shot on target. Ball to Nkunku. And Kunku. He should turn him. He does. And this should be goal number one, but the keepers in this game are just absolutely insane. Odegaard to Nkunku. Two, two Telemans and oh, Telemans, that is a rocket. Okay, 2 1. We are, we are right back in this. Man, it's nice to see Telemans scoring a goal like this. This is an absolute rocket. It's not insanely far out, but that's a good hit ball. Okay, come on, 2 1. We're not losing this. We're not losing this game. It's not happening. Okay, into the second half. We have a free kick here. This is kind of a very weird spot. Okay, please get to that. Telemans does get to that. Does he have a second screamer in him? He almost does. That was actually a good shot. Oh, that's very lucky bounces, but it is good pressure. Okay, Jesus literally made the worst run I've ever seen in my life. Like, that could not have been worse. Odegaard in front of goal, though. Oh, that Odegaard. What was that touch? That was such a heavy touch. Parte into Odegaard, up to Nkunku. He almost actually gets to it, but it's, uh, it's good defending. Hey, you can feel the tide shifting, though. You can feel the momentum shifting. Jesus gets that to Nkunku. Nkunku is going to flip that for Tierney. Get it back to Nkunku. Okay, that was terrible. I actually meant that first little flip to go to uh, Jesus, but it went to Tierney, though. Well, we got to tie this game up right now. Telemans, he is getting in some very good spots to shoot, and Telemans has two, and this game is tied at 2 2. Man, that is two like very similar goals for uh, Telemans. Okay, now we got 20 minutes, and it'd be very nice to win this game after this, because this has been uh, not our best game, but these are the kind of games that championship uh, level teams win. And uh, Martinelli's on for Saka, and then uh, Smith throws on for Nkunku. Okay, Vlasic just kind of owned uh, Tomiyasu in this game, not gonna lie. He's getting by him every single time, but that dude is not getting by Tomiyasu. And now we're gonna get that to Gabriel Jesus, Smith Rowe. I need, I need a good ball here, Smith Rowe. I need a good ball. It needs to be timed right. It's not perfect, but it was actually decent, but Jesus could get nothing on it. I feel this winner. I totally feel it. Last time I said this, we did not score it, but I feel it here. That is into Jesus. Jesus chips it, and I should have just shot normally. Why did I chip that? Oh, that was so bad. We could have just shot that first time and probably scored it. All right, we got three minutes. This may be our last chance. Jesus gets that to Smith Rowe. Okay, we need to we need to finally get past here. Get that to Odegaard. Get it to Telemans. Is he gonna score a hat trick in this game? The keeper makes the save. He had the chance to. It was like the same exact shot, all two goals, but this time it's the keeper making a save. Okay, into out of time. Martinelli, you got fresh legs. You got fresh legs and pace. And that was just a great challenge from Declan Rice. I didn't expect uh, their their midfielder to come flying in like that, but that was a great challenge. So, 2-2. I feel like we've been drawing a lot of games recently. Um, I didn't really notice a difference in difficulty, so we might try and put them off again. But I feel that feel, definitely feels like two points or a point dropped, actually. Okay, 20th placed Fulham. Literally bottom of the table. And it's a 4-1 win. Tillemans, Odegaard, Saka, and Odegaard. Okay, now we got the Carabao Cup uh, quarterfinals. And this is a trophy that I would like to win, so we're going to play this. So, team has rotated a decent bit. We got Matt Oweke, okay, Smith Rowe, Calvin Phillips in there, Frederick Rowe. I don't think we've won the Carabao Cup in this uh, series yet. So that is why I want to win this. I'm pretty sure in season one, we lost to Liverpool in the FA Cup uh, or the Carabao Cup semis. Okay, as usual, it feels like we're going to concede first in like the first five minutes. Matt Turner makes a save though. I feel like my defending is at its worst in the first 10 minutes of every game. It always feels like that, Tierney. That is a uh, that's a very good clearance though. It just always feels like that. It always feels like that. And that is over the net. Teams just come out swinging on us. Okay, Matt Oweke, okay, who's had a very good season off the bench, I feel like. The man has grown a lot, and that is a little cut in, and that shot is over the net too. Okay, okay, okay. They are taking some shots in this game. Like, boys, boys, Brennan Rogers' team, can you can you calm it down a bit? That is awkward, Saliba. That is a very good climb, though. Okay, they've started this game off, uh, like I said, swinging. Jesus to Matawake. There's some space here. That's a good ball to Nkunku, a great ball. That isn't a Smith Rowe finesse shot from Smith Rowe. There it is. There is Smith Rowe's first goal of the season. And might I say it was a pretty good one. The only thing I don't like about this 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 setup with Smith Rowe and Odegaard, I feel like we are uh I feel like Odegaard's not that good defensively. So I feel like we're kind of caught out in the midfield in that way. So like I'd only play it against teams that are pretty much not as good as us. But it is nice to see him score finally. It's it's very nice. Okay, they might score. No, they won't, because that that ball right there was terrible. And now we are going to sprint and be on the break again. Okay, that is going to be in two and Kunku. This should, this should be 2-0 right here. And Kunku should be 2-0, and it is 2-0. Okay, pretty much two counterattacks, and this is 2-0. Alvin Phillips, great steal. Can we do another counterattack? I want another one. Why not? More and more. Okay, that, that was terrible. Smith throw to Nkunku. Get that to Jesus. Jesus, get it right back to Nkunku. That is beautiful. Okay, Nkunku, what kind of touch was that? Smith throw. Okay, what just happened? That touch from Nkunku was so weird. And then Smith Rowe, the ball was under him there. Somehow that defender actually won that like that. I mean, they look good coming forward, but defending, they can't really defend us right now. 
It's uh, definitely, they're struggling a bit. That's going to go to Smith Rowe. Okay, this shot is gone. I should have shot that a bit sooner. We're going right back in, though, to Jay Seuss. Jay Seuss, what do we got? I need support. I need support. I need emotional support. And Odegaard has it, but he doesn't deliver. This uh, this really should be 3 0. I don't know. Okay, I don't know why how it isn't. That was a bit awkward, though. Uh, Calvin Phillips, what do we got to Nkunku? Okay, we don't really have anything there. Odegaard gets that to Madaweke. I want to shoot this. They're, lay they're laying off of him, and honestly, not bad. Although, honestly, not great. And Teze is not a bad little right back. He's actually pretty decent. He's got, like, strength and pace, just like that. He's actually not bad. For a backup right back slash fourth choice center back, he's really uh, wasn't a bad pickup. Jesus gets that to Smith Rowe. We're going to get that to Nkunku. Back to Smith Rowe. Back to Smith Rowe. And into Madaweke. I, I really wanted that pass to go to Jesus, but it did not. If that ball went to Jesus, it would have been 100% just a tap-in goal. Okay, that's a, that's a great move. And I tried to block the pass, but Matt Turner, what a save. I did not expect him to save that, to be honest. Okay, Eze on for Nkunku. Uh, Martinelli on for Jesus. And Gundogan for Odegaard. Okay, what is that? What is that free kick? We just handled the ball, by the way. And they're going to... Oh, it was actually them that handled the ball. What kind of free kick is that? It was actually a corner. What am I saying? What kind of pass is that, though? Calvin Phillips had a great game, though. Okay, they might get one back, and they are. I mean, they've actually been decent this game, so it's not surprising. It is a bit annoying, but okay, nine minutes. Can we just hold this lead, please? They started off great. We scored two goals really quickly. It took the sting out of their attack. We have not been amazing in this game, so I just want to try and end this. Okay, the passes, though. What are the passes I'm seeing right now? We are just not as sharp as we need to be in this game. Okay, they might actually tie this up. Imagine that. Imagine that. Frederick Rowe, good block. Oh, I thought he was going to go inside. You know what? Frederick. Oh, it's actually Tierney. That is a good block. Okay, we are under danger of them tying this up and going to penalties. And oh, Matt Turner just saved our lives. Matt Turner just made one of the best saves I think I've seen this season. That is two actually good saves from him. That's crazy. Okay, I think we'll just relax. And that should be a, Qu a Carabao Cup semifinal berth for us. Okay, 2-1. That was maybe a little bit more difficult than it had to be. But you know what? We're in the we're in the Carabao Cup semis. So can't be mad about that. Okay, so Manchester United next. Like I said, we played them twice in this episode. We're going to play the away uh, away game. So this one's at home. They have Coutinho, which is, which is just so wrong to see as a Liverpool fan. And Saka, Odegaard, and Odegaard score. You know what? That's what they get for signing Coutinho. It doesn't make sense. And next up is Brentford. We rotated a little bit. This is a team that always just seems to beat us. And it's very annoying. This time they don't, though. Thomas, Partey scores, and Calvin Phillips score. That is weird. Uh, both uh, CDMs scoring. Okay, so we got Chelsea last game of December. We entered the January transfer window. And Carabao Cup semis, we actually have Spurs. It's like, that is uh, that is very interesting. I kind of want to play that in this episode. So I think we got to choose to either play United or Chelsea and Sim one of these games. And looking at the table, Chelsea are in third, United are in seventh. So I think Chelsea probably with the team will play. So after this, we'll go into the January transfer window and we got some signings lined up possibly, some very interesting ones. But first, we got to try and beat Chelsea. Okay, Jesus is not scoring this episode. I kind of want to see him score because like, it's kind of weird he hasn't. Like, did, uh, did by us saying he's going to break the goal screen record jinx him? I don't know. He's still scoring in sim games. It's just we haven't scored with him in a played game. So I would like to see him score in this. I feel like he's, he's more of a facilitator in this episode. But that's honestly a good chance, and Jesus gets to it. Oh, Mendy spills it. Mendy spills it, but we can't get the rebound. That is an uh, interesting cross in. Man, Tierney. Tierney has climbed for two uh, headers like that in this episode. Not really what he's known for, but I mean, that's a, okay. Partey, that's a good block. It is. Uh, it's good. To, it's good to see, though, in Kunku. I should have waited a second. That's that's my fault. Please don't punish me for it. I feel like whenever I do that, the CPU always scores immediately after. Like, they know. You make a mistake and they punish you. That is into Ziyech. Okay, Saliba, good block. And we are going to control that. Gentlemen gets it to Bukai Osaka. That is a finesse shot that is blocked. Okay, Saka steals it back off Loftus Cheek. That is some good defensive uh, strength there. Kunku gets that to actually Odegaard into Telemans, who scored two of these already. And he almost scored another. It's so funny. He just keeps getting in that one spot that keeps working. Okay, I see a cross here. I see it. And it's Jesus. And it's just going to be off. Off target. Okay, Jesus, this, might, this actually might not be your chance because this is a weird angle. Jesus, Saka. Okay, I want. Well, he took so long to pass that. I was gonna pass it to Nkunku. We got like the longest pass animation, and the shot was the shot was not there anymore. We look good though. Honestly, we look decent. That is to Saka. Saka. Okay. Joel, what a clearance. Okay, what a climb by Saliba. This is a this is a very weird start to this game. Once again, Tillman's in a great spot, and he scores. Tillman's is just getting into like the most perfect shooting spot in this episode. That's three now. Probably his best episode in an Arsenal shirt so far. It's literally the same spot he scored in every single, almost every single goal. And 35 minutes in, that is 1-0 to, to Arsenal. Okay, let's keep this up. And Kunku is making a decent run. Actually, it's actually not bad. 
Oh, how did he not control that though? Okay, second half begins. It's been a kind of a weird game. And once again, all the games in this episode have been kind of weird. They're kind of hectic. But I mean, we are up one nil, so it's a good thing. I would like to just extend this lead though. Something we've been uh, unable to do recently. And I would like to do it here just to make things a little bit more comfortable. There's Nkunku has no support here, but the man doesn't need it. The dribbling right there was beautiful. Okay, that is goal number two. And that is uh, that's a very good way to start the second half. He had no support. He gets... It's like six Chelsea dudes in the box. Didn't even need any any help at all. That is uh, that's 150 million pounds worth of uh, worth of a goal. Okay, Jay Seuss, you have your chance. You have your chance. Who is this center back keeping up with them? Dude is quick, but that is to Nkunku, and that is 3-0. That was executed to perfection. And wow, we are kind of we are kind of dominating Chelsea. See, then we have a game like this, and I'm wondering, should we have a competitor mode on? It's just it's such a weird. An annoying thing from the comments i i got that mo like the majority of you guys that commented about it don't want it on because it makes the game look realistic or unrealistic actually and like i do agree it's just if the if it makes the game more challenging we should have it on and honestly i don't even know if it does or not the game is so weird that i do not know watch after i said that just because i said it they're gonna score yep Richarlison scores and Chelsea have one back in this game. The amount of times that that happens to me is actually ridiculous. Okay, 3-1. Let's not let this get out of hand. Okay, that goal has given Chelsea life because all of a sudden they're passing different. They are looking a little rejuvenated. Okay, first change due to stamina is uh, Smith Rowe on four and Kunku. I feel like it's a change. We always, we always have taken Kunku off because of his stamina and Smith Rowe can't stay on side there. It's the one bad thing about him. He's so good in this game, but his stamina, it's just, uh, it's just so low. We have him on stay full. Okay, what kind of pass is that? We have him on stay forward and it's still, it doesn't matter. His stamina just goes down so quickly. Smith Rowe, I'm going to try and shoot that because I didn't know what else to do and it was a horrible attempt. Okay, that is to Richarlison. That is going to be to Ziyech and Ramsdale makes a great save. I mean, this could easily be 3-2 right now. Charleston goes for a shot. Gabriel, Gabriel, it's actually a great block and he also controls it too. That was good defending. That's going to be into Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe, time it right, time it right. Beautifully timed. Jesus, finesse shot and that is 4-2 or actually 4-1. And that is game over and Jesus does finally get his goal. Okay, 4-1. That is a pretty comprehensive win against uh, the third place team. Other than that one goal they scored, that was pretty much a great performance. Okay, officially into the January transfer window. So Van de Voort leaves on loan. Um, Kawachi leaves on loan. Cornelison leaves on loan. And also Sammy Lekonga is going to Chelsea on a permanent deal. Okay, we just found two youth players. Let's take a look at them. Um, first guy is Cristobal Ponce from Spain. He is a striker, 17 years old, six foot, who is 63 rated. Now, a striker who is 60 finishing, but with better dribbling and passing, I think he's more of a cam or a winger and I, i'm guessing with that pace he should be a winger but i mean hey he actually doesn't look bad and this guy is huang has got a 800 000 value i mean pace shooting dribbling physical pretty much looks like a winger but that the, that 46 passing definitely hurts okay so plan is we're gonna sim the first leg with spurs and play the second leg so just as long as things don't get out of hand in the first leg we are good and that's two and win. That is perfect. Um, FA Cup against Crystal Palace. Second team, do not let me down. Why is Jay Seuss on the left? Oh, because we loaned out Cornelison. So Eze goes in there. And second team FA Cup, please just don't let me down here, please. Two nil, Jay Seuss and Gundogan score. Okay, so I mean we are in the January window. The two, the one position I was looking at was the backup striker spot. So I'm not sure if I'm too convinced Martinelli's better at striker than he is at on the left wing and we have a lot of money but honestly we don't need someone like actually like insane and i would like someone who's like on the taller side to contrast with uh with of course gabriel jesus i mean we got fabio silva we got uh dominic cover lewin we got ozzyman they're definitely on the taller side which would be good but we also found some regents now this guy theodore bourdon he is from france 19 years old striker regen you can maybe guess who this is i mean french regen in syria i've already confirmed it he's actually the olivier Giroud regen and i mean he was kind Kind of an, he was, a, was an Arsenal legend, but he was definitely a beloved player at Arsenal for, for a period of time. And I mean, at 74 rated 19, he actually doesn't look bad. Like, not bad at all. Well, this guy might be better, and you can already, you already know who he is. Bjorn Berg, 20 years old, playing for Cagliari in Serie A as well. Of course, striker from Sweden. Man's got 82 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, and he's got 80 finishing. Like, that pace at 6 foot, he's got 72 heading accuracy. I mean, that's decent for 20. He's, of course, the Zlatan regen and honestly that sounds that sounds very interesting i feel like he's much better than uh this guy so if we wanted to sign someone on the younger side like a regen i think i would rather choose him the zlatan ibrahimovic regen or should we go after someone like uh Kavar lewin ozzyman fabio silva jonathan david i'm not sure i honestly really like the idea of bringing in this guy because he, he does look like sick with that sprint speed height and finishing but i'm unsure if that's the better decision compared to like like i said Kavar lewin ozzyman and uh jonathan david okay leicester city full first team get the win I command you 
to win this game and they draw instead. Okay, Chion Burakazi gets his lone move to Bordeaux, the uh, the next Mesut Ozil. Okay, we changed that Spanish guy we just found into a left winger. He goes with a 69 overall. Okay, this this guy might be good. I mean, he's already into the 70s almost. Uh, 74 to 94 potential is pretty wide margin there. I think we're going to leave him in the youth academy though because I've noticed when you leave him in there, I almost feel like it's better for their potential. Like they get higher potential because of it. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I've noticed a little bit, I think. Okay, Brighton, we got some rotations in there. Still should win this though. It is Brighton after all and 2-1 smith Rowe and jay seuss that is a win okay one more game to sim uh against stevenage in the fa cup if we lose this i will cry okay 2-1 that was pretty close to seeing tears live okay i think we're gonna we're gonna narrow this down we're gonna narrow this down um Adiemi, I feel like he's so similar to uh, Gabo Jesus. We're going to take him off. Um, Fabio Silva, probably not good enough. So take him off. And between Calvert Lewin and Ozyman, I'd rather have uh, Ozyman. So we're going to take him off too. Honestly, Demetra, I like him for a future target, but not yet. So I think a striker for this for this month, it's pretty much down to Jonathan David. Victor Osman and also of course Bjorn Berg. I think if we send a striker, it's gonna be one of these guys. And we got Spurs to play, and we might decide after this game. And all right, it's two one on aggregate. It's time to shut the door on Spurs. Come on, I don't even want this. I don't even want this to last long. We gotta score two and put them to bed early on. Although because I just said that, it'll probably be a close game. So great. Partey though, that's a great steal. Thomas Partey has had a very good episode. And Jesus, that is shocking. That is actually shocking right there. Thankfully, the man is not a cam, and that's not his job. Tomiyasu versus Sun. I feel like usually Tomiyasu has gotten the better of Sun in this uh, save. That was kind of lucky, though. And that's awkward. That's awkward. Saliba is just going to get that out, though. Kane gets it to Lucas. They're going to try to get back to Kane. I know. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Tillman stayed strong there. And then Ramsdale made a good save. That almost felt like competitor mode with the guy doing, like, dribbles like that. Lucas. That was so weird. It is off. Odegaard, switch it out to Tierney. I like it. Man, I hate Spurs and Chelsea. They both play with this defensive formation that is just so annoying to play against, especially in FIFA. Like, they just got so many men back at all times. Okay, Odegaard was in a good spot there, but he ran from it. Okay, that is Matawake. Gets it to Odegaard. To Tierney, and that was actually a decent move. It just does not end in a goal, but Matawake shoots, and Tier or Telemans does shoot. This is just chaos, and that is to Jordan Pickford. Okay, this passing is very good, but man, that is a great block off that Harry Kane shot. Odegaard, good ball to Nkunku, Nkunku. You could turn them. You could totally turn them. Okay. Did he not get just fouled there? How was it not a foul? He, he won the ball and then took out Nkunku in the process. Nkunku to Jesus. Jesus has not had that much space in, in this episode, like a lot less than he usually does. Okay, let's just get that all the way back. Okay, Thomas Partey, it's just so enticing to try and hit, but we're going to try and be patient, and I should have got that to Jesus. See, I'm too patient, and then uh, we lose the chance. Mm, oh, and Kunku, oh, that was a great chance to shoot. Harold Kane gets it to Tony Cruz. That is into Lucas, and once again, Gabriel. It is, it is actually very good defending. Gellemans gets that to Jesus. Jesus and Kunku, please stay on side. I think he did. No, he did not. That, man, that, that had to be so close. We are literally so close to also scoring a goal here. Okay, Odegaard on the left. I like it. Odegaard cuts inside. It's actually good defending from Odegaard. I should have passed that. Oh, Odegaard stays with it. Oh, and Pickford makes the save too. That was actually some good uh, dribbling from Odegaard. Is he injured? I think Odegaard, he was holding his arm. I guess he's not. That made me a little bit nervous. Uh, Matawake. Oh, that was actually a good shot. That was very slow, but it was a good shot. Okay, let's let's loft this one in. And Jesus almost gets to that, but it's uh, it's not a great corner. Elements two and Kunku and Kunku gets that to Jesus. And man, just the, the five at the back is just so hard to break down. At least we're a goal up still on aggregate. But come on, we gotta make we gotta make this done. And Tomiyasu just literally has Sun in his pocket. It's hilarious. Sun can't do anything against him right now. And okay, Madawake is showing off the pace here. He's showing off the pace, and he is just gonna shoot himself. I think that might have been deflected off Koulibaly, because that shot looks so weird, but it is a goal in the end. Because I did not go for a low driven shot. But it looked like one. I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. It's so weird, but it works. Okay, it is. It is. Yeah, it's actually off Koulibaly, the top of his boot. It was still on target, though. That's why it's still Matawake's goal. Okay, this is 3-1 in aggregate. That's a, that's a bit better. I want a Carabao Cup final in the next episode. A chance to win a trophy we have not won yet in the series. Odegaard gets that to Tillemans. Come on, one more would seal it. One more would totally seal it. Partey, drag a defender out. Odegaard shot, and Davies just sacrificed his shoulder for that goal right there. Tillemans to Thomas Partey, all the way out to Tierney. Okay, I feel the goal. I feel it. Kunku. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I do feel it, actually. I do. No, I don't. There's just too much passing. I'm trying to work around all these dudes in the box. There's just literally so many Tottenham players in the box. It's like a, it's like a mosh pit in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And Kunku to Matawake. Matawake. 
um just missed man this game should have been should have been night night a long time before this okay son heard me when tomiyasu when i said that that he hasn't been able to do anything against him and that's a good ball and this is now 3-2 on aggregate once again okay relax they're not they're not coming back we got 50 minutes actually they might man we just miss our chances and then it just allows them to just come back martinelli though should be on side please martinelli dude he's how is he not on side there that's gotta be inches oh no is there away goals in the care ball cup i don't even know because if there is it is currently okay we we have the away goal advantage um son what was that come on boys we can't let spurs come back here i want i just want one more that is into Jesus. Jesus, good turn. Jesus, very good turns. But man, they just got so many defenders back. Okay, please, please. Oh, Saliba on Harry Kane. What a challenge. That might be the challenge that ends it. Because Kane had space there. And he didn't use the space. And that might be it. Okay, we're going to have a Carabao Cup final in the next episode, which is very nice. Tillemans, okay. That was terrible. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to beat Spurs. And we are into the Carabao Cup final. Still, we need, we need to finish some of these chances. The easy ones. All right. So, we got Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final in the next episode. Man, these striker, this striker decision is so tough. I really like the Zlatan regen. But also, Ozyman and uh, Jonathan David. Either of them would be good. So, I think I need you guys help in the comments to help me decide this. Out of Jonathan David, Ozyman, and Berg, who should we sign out of those three? So, drop a comment. And we probably decide that in the next episode. Which, we also have the round of 16 in in the next episode two and we are about to reveal who we've been drawn now i have not seen it like i said we finished second in the group so it's going to be a tough team i'm guessing round of 16 champions league is going to be okay rb leipzig that is definitely one of the that's probably the second best team we could have gotten i think uh villarreal was the best but okay we get leipzig you know what that's manageable so we will decide on a striker we'll also play the round of 16 and the carabao cup final in the next episode and we end this episode with a five point lead in first in the prem so i mean we're looking decent i don't think we're looking as good as we can considering the players we have in this team but you know what? we're not looking horrible hopefully second half of the season when we when we need to we pick it up a little bit but leipzig is not going to be it's not going to be an easy game so drop a comment on which striker you think we should buy if any of course drop a like in the video hit the sub button down below if you've not and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day